It is July 22nd, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. The programming languages that people love to hate are disappearing quickly. Microsoft killed JavaScript with TypeScript, Apple killed Objective-C with Swift, JetBrains killed Java with Kotlin, and now Google is stepping up to the plate for the biggest challenge of all, C++. It just announced a new experimental language called Carbon, which is designed to match the performance of C++ with LLVM, while being able to interop with existing C++ code bases. That's a big deal, because C++ is by far the most prolific language when it comes to building high-performance, low-level systems. C++ has been around since 1983, and it's accumulated a lot of technical debt in the process. The creator of C++ once said, quote, within C++, there is a much smaller and cleaner language struggling to get out. The problem with making C++ better today is that it's such an important language for so many code bases that it needs to focus more on standardization as opposed to evolving the design to what modern developers want. It's really hard to change an established technology. This sucks. Change it. Like when Python 2 went to Python 3, the changes weren't that extreme, but it's still very painful for anybody wanting to migrate a code base, and also all the content on the web and Stack Overflow becomes stale. One could argue it's actually a good thing that C++ doesn't try to change too aggressively. Carbon is designed to be a successor language for C++, which is no small undertaking, but Google is no stranger to creating programming languages. It gave us Go and Dart, which are both very well liked in the industry. At this point, Carbon doesn't have a good logo or mascot, but I'm sure it will get one eventually. You might also be wondering, why not just use a modern, memory-safe language like Rust. First of all, not all C++ developers actually like Rust, but more importantly, Carbon is designed for easy adoption by existing C++ code bases and developers. It has bi-directional interoperability with C++, which means you can use existing C++ libraries in Carbon seamlessly, or vice versa. Now, I've only been coding for about 12 years, which isn't nearly enough time to learn C++, but let's take a look at some code anyway. To run Carbon at this point, you'll need to install Google's build tool Bazel as well as LLVM to build it. To say hello world, we have a main function that uses print with a string literal. It looks pretty simple, but if you've never seen a C++ hello world that uses this character out bullshit, then it looks like a revolutionary improvement. But a bigger feature is the fact that it supports a modern generic system. Generics allow you to pass types as parameters to classes and functions, a common pattern in statically typed languages. But C++ takes a different approach that's often misused and abused called templates. Carbon still supports templates, but generics will provide a bunch of advantages in most situations. But more importantly, Carbon looks to improve upon memory safety patterns. In C++, you can have uninitialized variables, which can sometimes be important for performance, but more often than not, they just result in bugs. And memory access bugs can be very dangerous when hackers learn to exploit them. Carbon has an entire dock on its safety strategy, and basically it tries to be as safe as possible without hurting performance or interoperability with C++. And it can be run in different modes, like debug, performance, and hardened, depending on how much you want to prioritize memory safety. Notably, it doesn't use mechanisms like borrow checking, reference counting, or garbage collection, like you might find in other languages. Sounds pretty cool, so when can I start using it? Well, at this point it's experimental, and it's an extremely ambitious project. It'll likely be multiple years before this language is production ready. Now, even though Google just implemented a hiring freeze, employers are already looking to hire Carbon developers. You just need to have 10 years of Carbon experience to apply. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.